In today's video, we're going to learn how to clear the print queue in Windows 10. First, whenever you're learning a subject, whether it be computers, health services, physical fitness, or anything in between, it's important to use the proper terminology. Something I noticed when researching for this video, people often use the wrong Q word. Instead of spelling Q, Q-U-E-U-E, -U -U -E, they use the word C-U-E. That's just wrong. Here is the definition for the word Q-U-E-U-E. -U -U -E. A list of data items, retrievable in a definite order, usually the order of insertion. On the other hand, the definition of C-U-E is a thing said or done as a signal to an actor. Not really the same thing, don't you agree? Now that we understand the proper word to use, let's move to the heart of the matter. We see this in remote technical support all the time. Someone tries to print and an error window pops out similar to this one. Or what was sent to the printer just doesn't print. We need to get to the printer queue to see what's going on. There are a number of ways of getting there and I'll show you three different methods. Generally speaking, when a printer goes to print, it will place a small printer icon on the taskbar either near the date slash time or in the hidden icons. If something won't print, find this icon and double click it. The printer queue will appear on the screen. In our example, notice there are four documents in the queue. This happens when computer users don't know the rule regarding a queue. The first item in a queue must print, otherwise, nothing sent to the printer after that will print. In other words, if you send something to the printer and it doesn't print, don't bother sending anything else. Another way to get to the print queue is to go to the Start menu and then Settings. When the Settings window opens up, search for Printers. As soon as you type Printer, you'll see Printers and Scanners in the drop-down menu. Choose that option. You'll then get a list of all your printers. Granted, it's unlikely you'll have as long a list as ours, but find your printer, single click on it, and then click on Open Queue. The printer queue will appear. The third method of getting to the queue is to use the search function. Search for Control Panel, and when it appears at the top of the search window, click on it. The control panel should be in either small or large icons. In alphabetical order, you'll find devices and printers. Single click and all your printers will appear. Find the printer that won't print, click on it, and at the top, click on see what's printing. Now that you know how to get to the queue, let's look at what we can do to clear it. If you click on the printer menu, you'll see the option Cancel All Documents. A verification screen will appear if you click on it. Sometimes, however, that option is grayed out. If that's the case, highlight one of the items stuck in the queue, then go to the Document menu. Choose Cancel. A verification screen will appear. We got rid of the one document. Let's go back and try to cancel all of them at one time. It worked. The printer queue is empty. However, that's not always the case. Sometimes one document will be left and just won't delete. When that happens, here's what to do. One, turn the printer off. Two, restart the computer. Three, with the printer still off, go back to the printer queue and cancel the print job. Four, if the stuck job deleted, turn the printer back on. If the stuck job doesn't delete, Go to the advanced method. Advanced, advanced method. Advanced, method. Advanced, method. This might be beyond some users, but if you follow the steps carefully, it may resolve your issue. In the search field, search for services. When it appears at the top of the search result window, click on it. The services are normally in alphabetical order. Scroll down until you find print spooler. Single click on it, then in the left column, Click on Stop. Go back to your printer queue icon in the taskbar and double click. The following warning will appear. Restart your computer and the print spooler will automatically restart. Check your printer queue. 
the stuck print job should be gone. This video was about clearing the print queue. In other videos, we will explore the reasons print jobs get stuck in the queue and how to correct those issues. Please remember to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell so you'll never miss one of our videos. Thanks so much.